So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. I'm not trying to finesse this. So for blacks, we should try to get towards 13 point something percent. On Hispanics, you got to get into the mid-teens. So let me say it. Asians in the U.S. are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. James O'Keefe here outside of IBM's corporate headquarters in Armonk, New York. An IBM insider has provided us with an internal video showing the CEO of IBM, Arbin Krishna, using coercion to fire people and take away their bonuses unless they discriminate in the hiring process. Let me go deeper in the red hat. Multiple leaders over the last year plus that were held accountable to the point that they're no longer here at Red Hat because they weren't willing to live up to the standards that we set in this space. This conversation takes place every single day and in a lot of it's behind the scenes they terminated executives that didn't discriminate yet another violation of title 7 one of the biggest companies in the world one of the most valuable and recognizable brands on earth ibm insider has provided us with an internal video showing the ceo of ibm arbin krishna using coercion to fire people and take away their bonuses unless they discriminate in the hiring process, which appears to be a violation of Title VII. This comes on the heels of IBM pulling advertising from Elon Musk's ex, with IBM saying they have zero tolerance for discrimination. Quote, IBM has zero tolerance for discrimination, and we've immediately suspended all advertising on X while we investigate. So, so let, me, let me add a, a couple of things with, with a Red Hat flavor on it. Um, I think Arvin laid that out pretty well, but let me go deeper in the Red Hat. And as Arvin, very much pointed out and I very much understand I am accountable. I hold myself accountable. He holds me accountable as does the board for all of IBM. Um, but I hope we also hold the leadership at Red Hat accountable for that. I mean, I'll be very candid. Without an exception for, for privacy, I could name multiple leaders over the last year plus that were held accountable to the point that they're no longer here at Red Hat because they weren't willing to live up to the standards that we set in this space. And so, as I said, I, I'm accountable to Arvid on this as, as well as to IBM. For example, one of the changes I made, I named a DNI lead um, person in Margaret reporting directly to me and the CLT. We have, in, Margaret sits on the CLT as the DNI functions, and this is, this is worked on every single one of our meetings. It takes, this conversation takes place every single day, and, and a lot of it's behind the scenes, but let me show you this is happening. We're never going to cross the DEI off our list of priorities. This is an ongoing thing. That was Paul Kernier, CEO of Red Hat, which is a software company owned by IBM, saying that they terminated executives that didn't discriminate yet another violation of Title VII. So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. Paul held to the same standards. Paul and I have been working together to say, okay, how do we apply those deeper into the organization? That was the head of IBM saying he's going to reduce the bonus if you don't hit your racial quotas. Arvin Krishna is using racial considerations and making the work environments diverse and doing so coercively by placing burdens on employees to do so, like the removal of bonus or termination. That's also a violation of Title VII. I'm very clear about this. I expect at the executive level, so that is not just my directs, but all executives in the company have to move forward by 1% on both underrepresented minorities. So let me say it, Asians in the US are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. However, others are. Um, ditto on gender diversity. Now, at least 13 state attorney generals have put companies on notice that they should not be using racial discrimination in the hiring process. These attorney generals include Kansas, Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, Indiana, Nebraska, Iowa, South Carolina, Kentucky, West Virginia, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana. Paul Cronier did not disclose the names of his employees that were terminated, but we at OMG welcome you if you have been fired to reach out to us on our tip line. Contact us on our website or on Signal. We'd like to speak to you. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 states it shall be unlawful employment practice for an employer to fail or refuse to hire or discharge any individual 
or otherwise to discriminate any individual with respect to his compensation, terms, conditions, or privileges of employment because of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. In terms of national origin of the Civil Rights Act, the CEO of IBM, Arbin Krishna, also specifically targeting Asians in this private leak recording. Well, let me say it. Asians in the U.S. are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. This recording comes in the context of DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion. Allison Showwater is on this private leaked video inside IBM talking about DEI. Our last question uh, is about diversity, equity, and inclusion. IBM highlights their progress in promoting and recruiting underrepresented minorities in executive roles and holding executives accountable for DNI goals. At Red Hat, executive representation is dismal and there is no accountability for DEI work. Elon Musk has just come out against DEI and quotas last week. We've reached out to Elon Musk for comment, Allison for comment, Krishna for comment, and Paul for comment. IBM Security. Hey there. Um, this is James O'Keefe um, with uh, OMG News looking to talk to the CEO of IBM. Do you have an appointment? I do not. Does anybody know that you're coming? Um, possibly. Uh, possibly. Depends upon how much I'm surveilled, which the likelihood of that is quite high. But is there a possibility we could speak with Krishna today? Uh, you would have to make an appointment before that. Elon Musk joining the cause to abolish DEI, consistently critical of programs like this. IBM canceling their advertising on a list of companies that includes Disney. Now, some more context here. This video is from 2021, but we just obtained it last week from an insider, a whistleblower, inside IBM. IBM, one of the biggest companies in the world here in Westchester, New York at their corporate headquarters just outside New York City. One of the most valuable and recognizable brands on earth. IBM is one of the 30 companies indexed in the Dow Jones, one of the main indicators of the health of U.S. and global stock markets. This is James O'Keefe in Westchester County, New York, reporting for OMG News. Our last question uh, is about diversity, equity, and inclusion. IBM highlights their progress in promoting and recruiting underrepresented minorities in executive roles and holding executives accountable for DNI goals. At Red Hat, executive representation is dismal and there is no accountability for DEI work. Why do you not hold Paul to the same standards for diverse staffing and leadership as IBM does? Oh, I hold Paul actually to the exact same standards. Let me begin with that. The rest of you may not realize this, but Paul is part of my direct executive pool, right? Not just part of Red Hat. Consequently, I'm very clear about this. I expect at the executive level, so that is not just my direct, but all executives in the company have to move forward by 1% on both underrepresented minorities. But let me say it, Asians in the US are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. However, others are. Um, ditto on gender diversity. So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. Paul's held to the same standards. Paul and I have been working together to say, okay, how do we apply those deeper into the organization? By the way, just to make people give you one statistic, this is not executives. When I looked at our entire recruiting, for the first now six months and 14 days of the year, IBM recruits in the tens of thousands. 41%, 40 point something, so I'll round up to 41%, are uh, gender diverse, meaning women, which I think is our high watermark. But in all of them, we want to get to the representational demographics of the underlying populations. I'm not trying to finesse this. So for blacks, we should try to get towards 13 point something percent. On Hispanics, you got to get into the mid-teens. On gender, okay, we are somewhere in the mid-30s, I think, for all of IBM. But I think if I notice right, the representational is 50. Maybe Allison can correct me. I think it's actually, by biology, you can go debate this. I think it's actually slightly over 50. I think it's 50.1 or something. And so we should try to aspire. And that's why I say, let's improve one point a year. I don't like to set a target for a small group, but for the executive population, I want to say, hey, you got to improve by a percent a year. If we improve by that, then a few years, we'll actually get to where we want to get to. And that, by the way, includes Paul. So yep. 
the, you, you said the question as a Paul's not included. Paul's very much included in that. So, so let me let me add a, a couple of things with, with a red hat flavor on it. Um, so I think Arvin laid that out pretty well. But let me go deeper in the red hat. But the assertion there is no accountability around DNI efforts at Red Hat is really not the full picture. And as Arvin very much pointed out, and I very much understand, I am accountable. I hold myself accountable. He holds me accountable, as does the board for all of IBM. Um, but I hope we also hold the leadership at Red Hat accountable for that. I mean, I'll be very candid. Without an exception for, for privacy, I could name multiple leaders over the last year plus that were held accountable to the point that they're no longer here at Red Hat because they weren't willing to live up to the standards that we set in this space. And so, as I said, I, I'm accountable to Arvid on this as, as well as to IBM. We've, we've been transparent with a lot of the work that we've done in being in the space and progress is being made. For example, one of the changes I made, I named a DNI lead um, person in Margaret reporting directly to me and the CLT. We have, in Mar Margaret sits on the CLT as the DNI functions, and this is this is worked on every single one of our meetings. It takes this conversation takes place every single day, and and a lot of it's behind the scenes. But let me show you this is happening. All of our leaders here are committed to change and improving Red Hat's environment to be more inclusive and diver diverse. We're working on determining those metrics for success and how we want to measure our pro progress right now. They will be implemented very very soon. And we've been able to do this because we've moved DNI to my staff, and we've because we've put more focus on it with Margaret, as well as as others. We're going to hold, we are, and continue to hold, and going to hold even more our executives accountable for all of this, and they will have metrics around this. And so I think it's important that we understand this. What what you might not see behind the scenes does not make, you know, does not ensure that it's not happening. We're, and, and these goals will be out soon. Um, in addition to the goals we're working on, the DEI team with the People's Analytics team, analytics team is establishing dashboards, dashboards that we'll all be able to share with the entire company, which we can review at an open forum. We will review at an open uh, forum of mine. Our goal is to do what's best for Red Hat and Red Hatters, but it takes time to implement. And we need to continue to have the hard conversations and do the hard work that it takes to move forward. We're never gonna cross the DEI off our list of priorities. This is an ongoing thing. But if you have feedback or ideas on how we can better it, please let Margaret and her team know. This is work that we all have to do together. And I assure you that we are working this at all levels of Red Hat.